So I'd, I'd like to welcome you all to the 2017 P4 workshop here at uh, Stanford. It's great to see everyone here. For those of you I haven't had the pleasure to meet before, my name is Nick McEwen. Uh, I'm a professor here at Stanford in computer science and electrical engineering. And it's truly an honor to host you all here at Stanford today. This is for the third year in a row for the workshop that we hold here. And uh, once again, as you can see from the room, registration is pretty full. We have more than 200 people registered. And um, uh, so we're, we're fill up again today to come hear all these talks, uh, see the demos, and meet people from the growing P4 community. So there's one thing that's definitely different this year. And uh, when I was looking through the, the, the registration, it was very apparent. You know, in the last two years, about 50% of the people who were attending were from universities thinking about what P4 and programmable forwarding planes might be in the future. This year, like 85, 90% of you are from industry, from companies who are building networking systems, actively engaged. Many of you are programmers, coders who are writing P4 programs, building network systems. So it's really sort of an indication that, uh, that the idea of programming forwarding planes is maturing, the P4 language is, is, uh, is, is maturing. So that's great to, say, great to see. Yesterday we had 140 people here for a tutorial session, you know, how to program in, in, in P4. And uh, I was in China last week and we had 300 people for a P4 summit in Beijing last Monday. So there's a lot of interest growing in China as, as well. So without doubt, P4 is, is becoming pretty widely used across our industry and is becoming part of how we build uh, network systems. So my job today is to welcome you on behalf of P4.org. Uh, to remind you, it's a California nonprofit that we set up in 2014 to host the P4 open source project, the language, the P4 programs, the, uh, the open source compilers, etc. You can find all things P4 related on the P4.org website. If you haven't visited it, well, I guess actually if you're here, you must have visited it. So maybe, uh, maybe you know that already. Um, membership is growing. We have uh, now have over 50 member companies, many of whom are involved contributing P4 code. 15 universities are, are members. Many also who are contributing programs and actively involved in evolving and improving the P4, the P4 language. As a reminder, P4 is a free organization. Membership is, is, is free. It's set up as a, non, a nonprofit. All of the costs related to P4.org, paying for a website, domain name, legal costs, things like that, are actually paid for by this event. So your registration fees pay for this event today, plus those sort of other aspects of P4.org, plus the uh, generous contributions from our, from our sponsors. And uh, it's a very lean, small organization. Everybody's volunteers. So if you see your company or university on this list, that's the companies. This list is the universities. If you see on either of those two lists, it means you're all set up to be able to contribute. So there's already been, all the legal legalities have been, uh, have, have been gone through already. So feel free to go ahead and contribute as you see fit. Um, if you don't see your company or university on this website, then um, go get them to join. It's free. All the code is Apache 2.0 licensed, so it's a very permissive, permissive license. And uh, it'll let you take a more active role in the community if you do that. As you probably know, all the work is done by volunteers. There are no paid staff for p4.org and uh, from across a number of different organizations. We have a technical steering committee, and uh, that coordinates all the technical work in p4.org. Nate Foster, sitting here on the front row, chairs the technical steering committee along with the, the, the working group chairs. Um, we have three working groups. There's the language working group that's co-chaired by, um, by Nate and Gordon Brebner, who's also sitting here on the front row. And uh, the architecture group with Kaylin. Where is Kaylin? Over here on the back with a beard. And, um, uh, and, and, and also Dan Daly, who's not able to join us today. The API working group, Lorenzo, where are you? Just saw you over here. Thank you. And Antonin, where's Antonin? Can't see a hand. Over there. Over there at the, over there at the back. Thank you. Um, and then we have a board to oversee the governance, make sure everything stays open, that we don't break the law, etc. And uh, But 
I'd really like to take the opportunity to particularly recognize somebody who's uh, contributed a lot to p4.org over the last couple of years, and that's Chang Kim. Chang, can you just raise your hand? Chang, many of you know Chang. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so he, he oversaw the technical work for the last two years, helped to herd all of the cats to get P414 out the door through its various, uh, through its various versions and got the process going to, to get P416 uh, started. And uh, we kind of, we burned him out, he lost his hair in the meantime uh, from all the work that he was doing. So anyway, th uh, thank you, thank you, Chang. It's been, uh, it's been great to have you um, in, in, uh, do all this hard work over the past two years. And Chang um, handed over the baton, there is the handing over of the baton, just officially happened right then, to, to, Nate, uh, to Nate Foster. Uh, who many of you know, who kindly agreed to chair the Technical Steering Committee. And uh, Nate has, is well known for his work on programming languages at Cornell and has been very involved in not only popularizing but doing a lot of the foundational work in um, programming languages for networking systems in general, including for forwarding planes. So we're very lucky to have Nate's, uh, Nate's involvement. And uh, he's already got started with, with getting the P416 community rallied around the, uh, the delivery of the spec. Many of you saw the spec be published uh, yesterday. So go look at it, go pick holes in it, go start using it, um, and you'll see lots of talks about uh, P416 or using P416 today. So please join me in welcoming Nate, and uh, who he's going I'm gonna hand it over to him, he's gonna introduce the program for the day. So thank you, Nate. Thank you. 